just now. Yes, I'm recording now. That's brilliant. Oh, that's okay. great. Okay. Let's go. Unmute. Okay. Yeah. Try to deal with Mahmoud. Okay. And uh, there's some. So, yeah. yeah, he's unmuted. Yeah. He is unmuted now. He is hearing us. Mahmoud, you good? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, it was I have a problem in voice, but uh, I fixed it. Good. But it's okay. How are you, Mahmoud? So, uh, I'm fine, uh, Mr. Muhammad. How are you? So, what's up, yeah. What's up, folks? Welcome, everybody. And this is Junior Badawi English Club. And uh, let's welcome Mr. Muhammad, Mr. Ahmed, and uh, Dr. Mahmoud. Okay. Mm. So, let's get to know one another. Uh, so, quickly, uh, let me see that. Okay. And Mustafa joined. Yeah, Mustafa is coming. Mm -hmm. Coming now. Yeah, we can we can start until he until he joins. Okay. You you can okay. start, Yahma. Yeah. Okay, so let me let me start that. So uh, let me talk a little bit about this English club. So uh, for many English learners, speaking is the most difficult. Oh, what the hell? So, speaking is the most difficult part of language to master. And to improve your speaking skills, you need to be able to practice English with English or with other English learners or English speakers. And one way to do that is by joining or, let me say, starting an English club. So, English clubs can be helpful for your, uh, for your language learning process. And there are many reasons why English clubs can help learners of all ages and levels. And the most important reason is that they offer learners a chance to practice English by actually speaking it. Also, English clubs um, are less formal than a classroom sitting, and uh, many students or many learners find them like more fun uh, than usual English classes. And there is can, oh, this can increase a learner's desire to practice and learn on their own, right? Good, good, I hope so. Yeah, sure, yeah. And this is, uh, and this is the main purpose, by the way. So, it's okay. The first question that we have for today is how to introduce yourself in English. And uh, let me ask you, Mr. Muhammad, could you tell us some tips how to tell, uh, how to introduce yourself in English? Can I can I just ask if, if we can see the faces? Is it possible that you can you can turn your cameras on? It makes it uh, more more interactive. Okay. You can see people. <laughs> yes, that's okay. That's awesome. Yeah. Because when when you can't see the faces, it's like yeah. you're to yourself. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's, that's yeah. brilliant. And we have we have we have pretty faces today. <laughs> <laughs> All the faces are pretty. Yes. <laughs> alhamdulillah. What the hell? Allah, alhamdulillah. That's well, I, I think in, in in terms of your question about introducing yourself, yeah. it depends mm -hmm. on the on the situation. Like you can introduce yourself in an interview, yes. and even each interview is different. So. Uh, uh, you you need to tailor this to tailor you need to change this mm -hmm. way of introducing yourself according to the person that you speak into according to the situation the organization that you speak into as well because so, excuse me let me interrupt you uh, so it depends on the situation mm. that you face yes mm -hmm. because for example <clears throat> I'll give you the, a, 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 an example if you have an interview with uh, an employer like the British Embassy, for example, in Cairo. Mm -hmm. When you introduce, and, uh, already yeah. you have experiences. I did. Experiences I did. I did work for for two years for the for the British Embassy in Cairo. So if you have an, an interview great. with the British Embassy in Cairo, for example, and they ask mm -hmm. you to introduce yourself, when you when you introduce yourself to this interviewer or the panel of interviewing. For, for with uh -huh. this format with this organization they don't want to, uh -huh. to know where you were born 
what year were you born? Uh, what's your name? The city that you were born? This is a very cliche interview. Uh, this is a very cliche way of introducing yourself. But what they want... And, uh, to uh, I, think, till, I think till now it's very cauchy. Yes, it, but that's, that's, mm -hmm. it's very cliche, but it, the whole world has changed. Even in, in mm -hmm. Egypt, the employers have learned to cope with the changes of the world. So yes. introducing yourself is not as how it used to be 15, 20 years ago. So now they need to know you and what can you do to this organization. So you need to have a mixture mm -hmm. of things. You need to mix your skills, your education, and your potential, uh, your potential skills from joining this organization and how they're gonna benefit from you. Because they, they have your CV anyway. You, they don't want, you have already told them everything about you, where you were born, what's your name, what's your email address, what's your phone number. Everything about you is in the CV. So, so, but so for me, the if point I, is, you should be qualified oh, for, 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 the, uh, for, for the job that you apply yes. for. Yes, that's, mm -hmm. that's, 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 but, that's, that's the perfect uh, uh, description. You need to tell them that you, you have a, a collection of skills, you have a collection of uh, experiences that qualified you to apply for this job. The same thing if you, if you for example, introduce to a new group of friends, this is a completely different format of introducing yourself. You're not going to speak yes. about your skills. You're not going to speak about your education. You're not going to speak about uh, your, anything formal. Here, you will speak mm -hmm. about your, your name. You will introduce yourself, your full name. Uh, you will tell them uh, your education. You can tell them what, what qualification you have got. Uh, you will mm -hmm. tell them... Uh, uh, what, what, what job you have got at the moment. If you like your job, you don't like your job. If you like your job, why do you like your job? If you don't like your job, why you don't like your job? And if you have some, some, some dreams about having another job, why do you want to move to another job? So, mm -hmm. And also about your, your hobbies. What do you like? Do you like football? Do you like uh, movies? Do you like uh, walking? Do you like running? Uh, do you like reading? What kind of things you as a group will have a common ground that you can start a conversation with? So we can summarize that. Uh, we can make them... Uh, Sorry if I'm very fast. Strong. So yes, we can see that uh, we have some strong points that we should mention when we took uh, to uh, whatever to a group of people, our friends, or when we apply for a job. But uh, the most strong points are, so you should mention your name, your age, your city, where do you live, and uh, maybe uh, you were born in a city, but you live in a cis, uh, another city, so uh, the qualification in, in, that you have. For, for a job interview or for a friend's meeting? So I, I, I collect <coughs> uh, her, uh, so all the information that you can mention while you apply for a job or you are talking to, or when you talk to a group of people or some of your friends? Yes, but uh, as, as, as we said, you, you need to be mm -hmm. very, very smart. Uh, yes, very smart and specified. Yes, what to uh, say, so, uh, where and when. Mm -hmm. What, yes, where and when. This is the point. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it, so. And, we can, uh, and finally, we can add some more details about uh, what uh, we uh, about the jobs that we worked before, and maybe finally we can add more just about our uh, interests and the the activities that we like to do in our free time. I think that is um, like a summary for what you just said. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's 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 also you, you, you try try to be. Uh, I, I'm talking about myself. When I when I yeah. introduce myself in a in a in an interview, I try to be friendly with the people. If but friendly here means not laughing and jumping. No, you, you need to give, you need to be very. You show some passion. That you yes. that your passion. 
passion for the company or the work you, it's you, passion you apply you, for? You know, by, 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 the, by the chance you having that meeting with the people, whether it, is, whether it is an interview or meeting some friends on a cafe or having some tea or coffee or, or anywhere, you need to show the passion of the of a yeah, that you are grateful for this meeting that you're happy to be in this. Yes. Meeting. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's should, not by accident. Be saying, yeah, it's it's not mm -hmm. by accident that you're sitting in this meeting, and mm -hmm. at the same time you you don't hate, or you don't like you don't like being there. You like you like the group. You like the interview. You like the the opportunity, mm -hmm. and you need to seize yeah, it. So you. You like the atmosphere. Yes, yes. That around by. yes. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a good one. You like it. So yeah. you need to show them that you like the, 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 the present moment where you are mm -hmm. and you're enjoying it. Because the more so, you, it's, it's a very, very, very specific one because you need to show that you're enjoying the meeting. If you are not mm -hmm. enjoying the meeting, they can read you, 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 your body language. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the interviewers, they, 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 they assess you from A to Z. They assess mm -hmm. your look, how you look, your eyes. Are you looking? Are you, you need to distribute your eyes across all the panel. You don't focus on one person. Even the person who asked you the question, you don't need to, mm -hmm. to stick your eyes on their eye. You need to, to keep oh. looking to everyone and the answer to, uh, to, be to make... everyone. Yeah. To make eye contact with most of people that all uh, the everyone, are sitting, that are sitting everyone. With you. Not, not, not just yeah yeah. yeah. So do not stick your eyes with one person no. of the interviewer. Yes, yeah. no, that's not right. You you you'll have mm -hmm. to to, sh to let them share you because you you're there for all of them, not for one person. Mm -hmm. So you speak mm -hmm. to all of them, not speaking to one person. And the same thing if you if you're in a cafe and someone asked you a mm -hmm. question. Yes. All the others are interested in listening to the answer. They happy to, mm -hmm. to listen to you. They want to know who are you <clears throat> and what are you doing? Because this is, uh, uh, let me say, that uh, the same as what we do, uh, what we are doing right now. We yes. are happy. We're very happy when we listen to you. And I'm very happy to speak are. to everyone and see everyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, uh, That's it. Okay. And I hope everyone is happy as well. I, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fine. That's that's great. That's great. Okay. So, um, as you know, Mr. So, uh, do you have something to add? And uh, I really, uh, I love listening to you. And I think most of uh, all the participants uh, seem to think. Yeah, we can listen to the to our friends here if they have any questions. If they have something to okay, add. Okay, so they have comments. <clears throat> yeah, let's, let's yes. listen to them. So as you know, um, time slips away. So yeah. let's listen uh, to our participants for today, and let's get started with uh, Ahmed. Go. If you want, Hi, so, Ahmed, you? if you want, um, first of all, so. I'll be back, and uh, if you want to say something, uh, if you want to ask uh, ask some questions, if you want to introduce yourself in English, it's okay. Uh, I would uh, I would like to ask uh, two questions about uh, Muhammad. Uh, what say? Mm -hmm. uh, first question that uh, he told us uh, that we need to focus on where and. Uh, whom and when I talking with I or I making the interview with mm -hmm. I uh, I don't disagree with uh, whom to whom or uh, uh, where but I disagree with uh, when why when when for a time I think the time is not uh, I mean great to hear. Uh, no, no, when, when I say when I mean the it's not in the like uh, it will change from the morning to the afternoon to the evening. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, while you are in the meeting, this is the win. I think I mean, it's I the just, time yeah, of the yeah. meeting. That, that's what I mean. I'm sorry. Because your answer is not going to change. You, your information and the, the, the answer is not going to change from night to day or day to night. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I think. 
<laughs> I think I think Mr. That's Muhammad meant that you should be careful for every single movement you do while you have an interview. Yeah. This is a point. You know, a, a few a few months ago, I I, I read a book. It's called the uh, the power of now. <clears throat> And the power of now is, is, is talking about, uh, it has been translated, I think, recently in Arabic, and it is uh, And it's, yes. it, it talks about the, the present moment. And uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 it all, all the book that you only have the present moment. Why? Mm -hmm. Because what happened in the past, you're never going to change it. You can't change it at all. It's done. It's dead. <clears throat> if it's good or if it's bad, it's done. You, you can't do anything to it. And the same thing with the future. You don't know what's going to happen in the future. You plan for, for things to happen next week or next month or next year. Yes, we plan. But do you, agree, do you guarantee 100% that what you plan is going to happen? No. You no, I think... Only God. No, no. Only, no. only God knows what's going to happen. But the present yeah. moment, this moment where we are now sitting, this is our life. So you can, you can, you can, you can, you can focus on what you're saying. You can focus on what you're listening. You can focus on everything. You can enjoy and you can disenjoy. You can be happy and you can be not happy. So this is, this is the power of now. That every, the same thing with the interview. So all your life stops when you have that interview or that meeting with the friends. So you have to enjoy it, be engaged, uh, feel, feel their feelings as well and let them feel that you're happy and enjoy their happiness as well. So that's, that's, that's what I mean by the power of now. And it happens all the time. So the morning is the power of now, the morning, the afternoon is the power of now, the evening is the power of now. So it's the present moment. Okay. I hope this answers the, the question of... Uh... So good. Second question uh, about uh, the point of uh, to, uh, making eye content, contact with uh, all of people that making interview. I think when, when uh, someone asks a question, it's presentation and skills uh, refer to make eye contact, no, eye contact with, uh, with the, the person who asking this question. Not all. It's Tell you finish the answer because the person need to uh, feel uh, you can uh, uh, you can answer him by uh, correct answer, not uh, answer that you feel uh, you make you make him feel you uh, feel that you uh, not sure about your answer or uh, uh, your answer not. Um, maybe correct, maybe not. Yeah, but when when you are when you are speaking, like if we have if I have the the five of the five of us sitting together, and the four of you are the panel, the interviewers, the four of you are asking me questions, okay? And th this is your turn asking me introduce yourself, for example, okay? Mm. It's not just you is evaluating me. Do you know that all the four of you are gonna give a feedback about my answer? So that's that's why I'm saying that you will you must look at every single person when you speak, when you answer yeah. this because because everyone is, is is giving feedback, giving you a, a score out of five, and eye contact and body language is part of this score. So where we score? If the question uh, it's very specific to uh, to the topic that you were uh, talking about, uh, I think the answer must must be very specific to the uh, to uh, whom uh, asking you. It's it's up to you. The, these are like uh, let me admit Fatma. Someone is coming. Sorry, I, I don't know when did she uh, how how long have she been uh, waiting? <laughs> but uh, I mean. These are like kind of theories. It's up to you, but the majority of the people would I I would share. I never I never look one hundred percent to the person who asks me. I have to look at everyone and get, and let them be 
in the meeting because they, 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 as I said, they, they would give feedback on you. They would give feedback on my answer. Even if, if Mahmoud, for example, he asked the question, but you will give me, you give feedback on my question. Ahmed is going to give feedback. Fatma and Mustafa will give feedback as well. That's, that's the point of sharing the, the eye contact. You can give a little bit more to the person who asked the question. Mm -hmm. you can, that's, yeah, yeah. that's a good point. Just to give a little, yeah. Yeah, a little you can, bit more. You can give him or question. her a little bit, but not too much or we'll focus 100% yeah. on him or her. Yeah, so all of them need to see you looking at them and Good. speaking. That's, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try. You know, next time you, have a, a, you, you may... have, a, have a meeting with your friends, try or, mm -hmm. or, with, or, with, or an interview or giving a presentation. Uh, uh, the same thing happens with giving a presentation. If you're on the stage or in a classroom, mm -hmm. you can't focus yes. on a group of people like in the side here and ignore the other side or the other or this so side. The, you have to so look. So kind of feel like yeah. You have to look to uh, or add yeah. uh, uh, most of them or all of them because and if you stick your eyes uh, at some uh, some of them, so the other side or the other group of people will feel like uh, they ignore uh, you ignore them yeah. ignore or yeah. escape yeah. them. Yeah, that uh, that is a point. I think. Yeah. That's 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 a very good one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. By the way, I am Ahmed. My name is Ahmed. Okay. I work as a data engineer in an IT company. Oh, brilliant. Egypt. Ah, great. Thanks. So you have you have a lot of meetings. You have a lot of interviews. Yeah. You have a lot of presentations. Yeah. To give. yeah. So try all of these techniques, and I'm sure you try and you're doing all of them. Yeah. But I mean, when, when, you, when, you, when that sharing is specifically because you, it seems like you, you like it, try to share more than focus on that specific person. Like if you have a, a team meeting, for example, and yeah. the team leader asks you a question, your answer shouldn't be only to the team leader. Your team members, they, listen, they want to listen to you. They want to, to you. they want to listen to your answer. What have you done in that project? Uh, what good points that you have done, they will learn from you or they will give you feedback. So they want to feel also engaged with your answer. Yes. That's, yeah. that's what, I, that's what I, I mean about sharing. Thank you. Yes, thank you. So uh, engagement is a vital, uh, vital or is a, a main thing. Okay, we can, we can listen okay. to Mahmoud if he has any Ooh. questions. Mahmoud, Mustafa, and want to comment? Fatma, okay. Okay, firstly, I wanted to thank you, uh, Mr. Muhammad and Mr. Ahmed, about this meeting. You uh, provided us to uh, practice English. I, I like practice English, so you uh, uh, provided to us this, uh, this chance. Thank you. Uh, so, firstly, I want to, to thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, then, I uh, can introduce myself as uh, I'm Mahmoud Kamal. Uh, I'm a dentist, graduated from Faculty of Dentistry, Fayoum University. Uh, I'm uh, 24 years old. I'm working right now in uh, Asnam Master Dental Center in Fayoum. So, so Mr. Muhammad, uh, you're next. Though. So please, sorry, Mahmoud, for interrupting you. But Mr. Muhammad, so when inshallah get home, your, uh, your home country, so your next check, uh, on your teeth, uh, well, be for free, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't, I haven't had my teeth checked for last maybe two years or so, but only <laughs> who knows when it's going to be the next time I'm in Egypt. We, we don't have flights from the UK to Egypt, so we don't know when this uh, is going to happen. But uh, at least, inshallah, we will have the chance to see you. Already, right now, you have that chance. Uh, I, I, I will be very happy. I will be very <laughs> happy to, uh, to you. check your teeth. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. Okay, that's all. Uh, that's uh, not, no more. Well, that's that's a great. That's a, and and I think you need English a lot with your study and the research, and uh, you need to keep updating your, your knowledge. Here, you know, here's, it's everything here's in your life graduate. is in English. He is a fresh graduate, by the way, and he is uh, preparing for joining the military service. And I hope him to get like. Nah, I, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm <laughs> not. <laughs> 
I am not preparing. They will prepare you tomorrow. You need to prepare. <laughs> they will know. Yeah, they know how to prepare you. <laughs> <laughs> they have more. They have more enough. They don't need me. That's fine. They do not want. Oh, okay. They do not want to have like uh, yet, but it's okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, thank you Keep talking. for your contribution, and uh, it's, it's always good to speak to you. And, and thank you, thank you, thank you. All you the best. Wish you all the best with your job. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so keep talking, and uh, if you have some to add, it's okay. Uh, that's all. I, I I have no more to to say. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's great. We can. We can. Sorry for interrupting you, Mahmoud, oh, well. but uh, I think uh, Mustafa Khattab uh, can you can tell you that uh, the army need you. <laughs> <laughs> officer, he. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 The Egyptian uh, I army forces. I depend on him. The Egyptian army military. Forces. Don't forget. Oh, that let me say the Egyptian. We have Egyptian so army forces are in need yeah. for you, Mahmoud. Don't forget that we have <laughs> Mahmoud. Do not leave. Yeah. And I'm sure that Fatou okay. doesn't want to listen about the, the army. <laughs> <laughs> she, she has no interest. Yeah? yeah? No, no, no. No, I have no interest. Do you, okay. you want to go to the, to the military, Fatima? Okay, actually, I hope. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, you know, go, go, go instead of me, please. <laughs> <laughs> if it's possible, I'll, I'll go. Oh, wow, this is a very courageous person, brilliant. Uh, it's a very Thanks. good attitude. Very good attitude. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe we can uh, uh, you can carry on, Fatma. We can, and if, if you want to add something, if you want to comment, if you want to have sorry, I didn't see you uh, in, the, in the waiting list. I admitted you late. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry for being late. No, that's no, fine. You're here. Okay. Um, uh, can I introduce myself? Yes, of course. Okay, I'm Fatma Bess. I'm 23 years old. I'm a fresh graduate, uh, Faculty of Education, uh, English Department. Um, I live in Fayoum, actually. Um, and that's it, Yan. And what, what, what are you planning okay. to do? Are you planning to be a, a teacher? Are you planning to go to the army to teach English? Or what are you planning to do? Uh, for this time, um, uh, You know, uh, Mr. Hamad, I'm sorry, sorry for my way. Uh, you know, uh, they, our girls, say that because uh, they know that's uh, impossible to happen. So that's no, why no, we no, say no, no. that. But no, I swear if it's no. possible, so... So, no, what, uh, they would you, say, oh, they, no. they would say like they would no. say like us, yeah. No, people, people. I I like this. I like this life. Yeah, people. People are different, and uh, people are, and women yeah. are not the same. Not all women are the same, and not men all the all are the same. So some men, I the same thing. Yeah. Some men loved the the military service, and some people hate the military service. And um, I think the same thing with any woman. So some women will love. So, Mr. Hamadi, if we. If we make a vote right now for all the the, the, the youth or the the guys that will have <laughs> yeah, but we right are now, six, for example, we are six people out of one hundred million people in one country. So you can't you can't take this statistics of six people and apply it on one hundred million people. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. So generalization generalization is not a good thing. That's what God created us. God created us with different behaviors, with different likeliness, yeah, yeah. different and dislikes. Thanks for and, your support, and, Mr. And, Muhammad. And, 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 and to protect us. It, it's, it's the truth. To, I'm not, sorry. It's not just mm -hmm. about you. It's, to, it's, 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 it's about everyone. <laughs> it's about everything. Anyway, and thanks. To make, to make, to make, uh, to protect our great country. <laughs> if you take it from this context, you need to ignore yeah. the bad behaviors that some bad people do in the army. And, and like mm -hmm. uh, uh, yesterday, I was reminding someone here that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam قال إنما الأعمال بالنيات وإنما لكل مريء ما نوى. So yeah. everything that you do is depending on the intention. Uh, uh, by the way, mm -hmm. can we come back to the meeting? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to finish in less than one minute. 
sorry. Okay, no problem. Just go to the to the to the link again, please. Thank you. Okay. okay.